What's a must-have for Chinese New Year besides red packets and family drama? Pineapple tarts. For the Chinese, the pineapple is a symbol of prosperity and in these times, we could all use some of that. Joining my small factory today is food writer Hedy Koo, a friend who always seems to bring good energy into any room. Let's get down to business. Do you know how to make pineapple tarts? No, I don't. I've helped my auntie before and that put me off enough. And you can know that it's quite, quite tedious. It tests your patience. How many pineapples do you have to use to make today's batch? One pineapple makes about 30 to 40 tarts. Okay, that's okay. manageable. Yeah, and then you should buy an unripe pineapple. It has to be a sour because that sourness gives it a beautiful tartness. Mm. Now comes the even more tedious part. Grating to me is more work because you have to Definitely. push against. So you do this. Oh. Wow. Well, how did you come up with this? You learn from housewives. Housewives are the best people to learn from. Shall I help you yeah. with this? Why don't you try? Okay. You see, much faster. She's very good. Hedy cooks every day, I think. No, I, uh, yeah, kind of. Yes. <laughs> But not pineapple tart. The core is very hard. You just cut it up. Yep. Oops. Ha ha ha, I've done a disaster. Can I have a spoon? Quite easy. <laughs> Remove the top. And use it for coffee later. Pineapple spice coffee. My mother used to say that seeing me do things was terrible. <laughs> Okay. My mother says that for me too. Really? <laughs> it's a traditional method. They squeeze away some of the juice. I prefer just to cook and let it evaporate. And let it reduce. We'll put a cinnamon and clove. That adds a nice flavour. Because it's a very young pineapple, it's going to be caramelising to still a yellowish colour mm. rather than a dark brown. I feel prosperous just looking at it. Now you can't use it at once. Put it in the fridge overnight. So it'll firm up. It'll firm up. And I want it to be sticky, but not too dry. Always weigh and cut your butter when it's still hard. So you have to cut the butter into smaller pieces. I have about 200 grams of flour. Can you sift it for me? Half a teaspoon of salt. 40 grams of sugar. Now, put all the wet things together. If you add one at a time, you're going to have lumps, you know. One egg yolk. Egg white makes pastry too hard. One tablespoon of water. Three quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence. And put it all in. And you mix it till it forms a pastry that pulls off from the sides. And you this see? has to be done by hand. It cannot be done by oh, hand. You can put it in a machine. Actually, I'm doing, the old, I'm doing the difficult way to prove it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you can put it in a cake mixer. Use the K-hook a few seconds and it's done. I like to use my hands because you can feel it. Okay, so this is it. And I weigh it now into 10 grams. This is my filling from yesterday. Yeah, and I'm going to do 8 grams. How do people make hundreds of these? Really a labour of love. You see, you got it perfect. <music> and we'll turn on the oven. 260 degrees Celsius. And now, Hedy, we're going to make the pineapple tarts. Now, I'm going to make the easiest one. You have to make a depression. Okay. You should press a lot till you can actually surround it easily, the filling. You just keep on rolling like that, right? But instead of just making a ball, take a pincers, I would like to do this as well. Three. Wow, this is really a challenge. Now, the pineapple shape. I take a pair of scissors. This is my lever. Okay, four, three, two, one. Like this a, is like a real pineapple. Yeah, it looks like a crown. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Next one. Better than mine. Okay, next to it. Wow, one wonderful heady. You can do for your auntie ready. No way. One more. And then open face. Press it mm -hmm. hard. This is quite therapeutic. Yeah, it is therapeutic. Okay, turn and then twist it out. Twist it out? Yeah, very fast. Oh, 
Wow, you need a lot of control. <laughs> Push it in. And the part that is breaking apart doesn't matter. You're going to put it together like this, sideways. So this is another way they do, which I do not do at all. And I'm trying just to show that I know something about culture. It has to be even much thinner. So let's say an older lady would say, I feel. <laughs> Once upon a time, this traditionally styled part would have to answer to a higher Pranakan power for its audacity and scrappiness. At the moment, I am that higher power. I made sure of that in 1978 when I wrote Pranakan Cooking, a book compiling vital Nyonya recipes, one of them being our pineapple tarts today. The launch at Lucky Plaza with live cooking and music was quite a success. All this is to say, I fulfilled my traditions and now I'm making pineapple tarts however I want. I think the star wow. cutter is much easier. Yeah. And press it this into the... Like working with mini chairs. Okay, press it, press it deeper. Okay, hold it up. Hedy's perfect pineapple <laughs> tart. Bravo, <laughs> Hedy. <Thank you. laughs> so there are two ways you can brush. The egg yolk has some water in it. Or sugar water works. Okay, Hedy. Now, we check the oven temperature. It's 160. Okay. And just put it right in. And so we're doing our 10 minutes. Chinese New Year is just the start of the pineapple tart frenzy in Singapore. Our love for this festive treat builds up during Hari Raya and culminates at Deepavali. So we are done. This is our New Year tree. It looks amazing. Ready for the celebrations? Yes. Ready to go? No, ready to not to go but to eat. <laughs> and you're going to cook, right? Uh... Pineapple tarts. Yes, you are. And is going to do pineapple tarts. And we're going to have a taste. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Valor. <laughs>